many surgeons consider a tube shunt in young uveitic patients, and I want to show a technique that I've had a fair amount of success with, uh, goniosneculysis and gonioscopy-assisted transluminal trabeculotomy. Here I am making a paracentesis using a 27-gauge needle by the 5-O-proline, and then just used a 15-degree blade for a main incision, some preservative-free lidocaine, followed by some cohesive viscoelastic, and generally I do not use uh, myocol, uh, but did in this situation, just because she has a clear crystalline lens, and I knew I was going to be doing some goniosynechiolysis as well. Now this is just using a Swan uh, Jacob lens, uh, looking at the nasal angle, and you can see just using an MVR blade how easy her peripheral anterior synechiae came down, uh, despite uh, me seeing these peripheral anterior synechiae some six months ago. And this is not always uh, the case. I do have some situations where I've ended up ripping through the peripheral anterior synechiae, though given how easily uh, these areas came down, I thought it was prudent to go around uh, 360 degrees and uh, bring these synechiae down before performing the gonioscopy-assisted transluminal trabeculotomy. And in this situation too, because I'm not sure what's going to happen with these PAS going forward, I thought it also wise to just do 180 degrees, which is really my preferred approach for GAT. Often I use a 25 gauge micro forcep to grab onto the peripheral iris and pull it down. Uh, this lady was in considerable uh, discomfort during this. This is topical and without a block, but really you can see that just using a blunt cannula, and here I am using some micro graspers, 23 gauge, which I was gonna use for the GAT anyway, and just using the blunt tip to gently tease down uh, this peripheral iris. And you can see here that it was working uh, quite well. And the patient, we were able to just talk to her during the process and tell her that everything uh, was going very well. In the event that the synechiae are very fibrotic and start bleeding, I generally stop. And theoretically, there could be a situation where I would consider not doing uh, the GAT and switching to a uh, tube shunt, though I really haven't encountered ones that are that fibrotic. So here we are now starting our GAT with an MVR blade. I like to start a little bit on the right side of my field, uh, just in case I have to do another incision area. And I was quite reassured here because I felt like there was almost like a membrane in front of the TM, as if there was a an outflow problem uh, that we can easily address uh, with this, this technique. Here we are feeding the 5-0 proline. I use about 10 pushes to achieve 180 degrees. Uh, and then I sometimes what we call walk the dog or just pull that suture a little bit uh, to make sure that it's not tracking back. And it rarely does. It's a common misconception that the suture will uh, track back. And here we are just pulling it out of the eye. Again, it did not track back and we achieve our 180 degree uh, trabeculotomy. Uh, here we are just hydrating our wounds and inflating the eye to about 35. I left at least 50% uh, cohesive viscoelastic in uh, at the end of the case. And on post-up day one, her pressure was five. 